Hey there, and welcome to our video on DevOps engineer roles and responsibilities. If you're into the tech industry or just curious about the role of DevOps in software development, you have come to the right place. So what exactly is DevOps? In simple terms, it's a set of practices and tools that help developers and operational team work better together, releasing software faster with higher quality. At its core, DevOps is about breaking down barriers between development and operations and creating a culture of collaboration that focuses on delivering value to customers as quickly and efficiently as possible. Of course, this is a vast oversimplification and there are many different aspects to DevOps that we could spend hours diving into. But for now, let's focus on some of the key responsibilities of a DevOps engineer, who is the person responsible for implementing and overseeing DevOps practices and processes. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to Simply Learn to stay updated with all the latest technologies and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us understand what is DevOps. Now, DevOps is a software development approach that emphasizes collaboration, automation and communication between development and operations team. It aims to streamline the entire software development lifecycle by integrating and optimizing processes, tools and methodologies. It encourages a culture of shared responsibility where developers and operations team work together closely throughout the entire software development lifecycle from planning and coding to testing, deployment and monitoring. Now the question is who is a DevOps engineer? Well, you got it right. A DevOps engineer is a professional who combines software development expertise with operations knowledge to facilitate collaboration, streamline processes and improve software delivery and infrastructure management within an organization. A DevOps engineer role is to bridge the gap between development and operations team, enabling efficient and reliable software development and deployment practices. But the question is how to become a DevOps engineer? What are the skills that you need to possess to become a good DevOps engineer? Well, a DevOps engineer possesses a wide range of skills including proficiency in scripting and programming languages, knowledge of various tools and technologies, expertise in system administration, cloud platforms and containerization technologies as well as strong problem solving and communication skills are necessary. Firstly, having a good coding knowledge. Well, tools like Confluence, Jira, Git, these tools can support and enhance collaboration and project management within a DevOps environment. Next, having a good knowledge on deployment tools are also necessary. Now, tools like DCOS provides orchestration capabilities for distributed applications, Docker enables containerization for consistent and scalable deployments, and AWS offers a broad range of cloud services for infrastructure provisioning, scalability, and managed services. Next, you need to have a good knowledge on operations tools as well. Now, Chef and Ansible focus on infrastructure automation and configuration management, while Kubernetes specializes in container orchestration and management. These tools are utilized in DevOps to automate various aspects of software life development life cycles, including infrastructure provisioning, configuration, management, application deployment, and scaling. Moving ahead, you need to have a strong grip on monitoring tools. Nagios, Splunk, and Datadog are three commonly used tools in the field of monitoring and observability. Now, each tool serves a specific purpose in monitoring and managing system and applications. Nagio specializes in infrastructure and application monitoring. Splunk focuses on log analysis and data visualization. Datadog provides comprehensive monitoring and analytic capabilities in cloud environments. These tools play a crucial role in maintaining the health and performance of systems and applications. Moving ahead, you need to have a good knowledge on Jenkins and Codeship. Now, Jenkins and Codeship are both essential tools in DevOps practices. Jenkins is a flexible and extensible automation server that supports continuous integration, testing, and deployment. On the other hand, CoreShip is a cloud-based CI-CD platform that offers simplicity and ease of use, particularly for cloud-native applications. Both these tools contribute to improving development productivity and code quality. And finally, having a good knowledge on testing tools like Selenium, JUnit, are necessary for a DevOps engineer. JUnit is primarily focused on unit testing and automated testing of Java code, while Selenium is geared towards functional testing and automation of web applications. Both these tools play critical roles in DevOps workflow, contributing to faster feedback cycles, improved code quality, and reliable software releases. So these are some of the main and important skills that you need to possess as a DevOps engineer. Well, now comes the main part. What exactly are the day-to-day -day roles and responsibilities of a DevOps engineer? Now, a DevOps engineer plays a crucial role in bridging the gap between development and operations team as we discussed earlier. 
So here are some of the top five roles and responsibilities of a DevOps engineer in detail. First on the list, we have collaboration and communication. Now, DevOps engineer facilitate effective communication and collaboration with development and operations team. They actively participate in meetings and discussions to align goals and expectations. Now, as a DevOps engineer, you need to engage in regular meetings and discussions. Regular engagement ensures that they are up to date with ongoing projects, challenges and goals, enabling them to better align their efforts and contribute effectively. Regular engagement ensures that they are up to date with ongoing projects, challenges and goals, enabling them to better align their efforts and contribute effectively. Actively listen and understand the requirement, concerns and feedback. Now, when engaging with development and operations team, DevOps engineers practice active listening. They pay close attention to the requirements, concerns and feedback expressed by team members from both the sides. By understanding their perspectives, pain points and suggestions, DevOps engineers can better assess the needs of their teams and collaborate to find suitable solutions. Facilitate effective communication channels. Now, DevOps engineers take the initiative to establish and maintain effective communication within the organization. This often involves settling up dedicated chat platforms like Slack, Microsoft Teams or collaboration tools like Jira to foster better collaboration and ensure that information flows smoothly between the teams. And finally, encourage cross-functional collaboration. Now, DevOps engineers recognize the value of cross-functional collaboration and knowledge sharing among the team members. They actively encourage them from development and operations team to collaborate, exchange ideas and share their expertise. Second on the list, we have infrastructure automation and configuration management. Now, DevOps engineers focus on automating infrastructure provisioning and managing configurations using certain tools. They define infrastructure as code, enabling efficient deployment and scaling of resources. Now, as a DevOps engineer, you have to identify the infrastructure requirements effectively. Now, DevOps engineers work closely with development teams to understand the infrastructure requirements of the application. This involves analyzing the needs of applications in terms of computer resources, storage, security, networking and scalability. By gathering all these requirements, DevOps engineer can ensure that infrastructure is provisioned and configured to meet the application specific need and future growth. Write infrastructure automation scripts and templates. Now, once the infrastructure requirements are identified, DevOps engineers use automation tools and techniques to define the desired state of infrastructure components. They write scripts and templates that specify how the infrastructure should be provisioned, configured and managed. Automate the provisioning, configuration and management of servers. Well, DevOps engineers leverage infrastructure as code or in short IAC principles to automate the provisioning, configuration and management of servers, networks and other infrastructure resources. They use tools like Ansible, Chef or Puppet to automate the deployment and configuration of infrastructure components. And finally, regularly update infrastructure code. Now, DevOps engineer uses version control systems like Git to track changes, collaborate with team members and manage different versions of infrastructure code. By regularly updating and versioning infrastructure code, DevOps engineers can easily track and reverse changes whenever necessary. Now, third on the list, we have continuous integration and continuous deployment or CICD in short. Now, DevOps engineers are responsible for establishing and maintaining CICD pipelines, which enable developers to integrate code changes seamlessly and deploy applications rapidly. So for that, they have to set up a version control system. Now, version control systems like Git play a crucial role in DevOps by providing a centralized repository for managing code and tracking changes. Setting up a version control system involves creating a repository, initializing it with the code and defining branching and merging strategies. Configure a build server. Now, a build server automates the process of compiling, testing and packaging application code. Tools like Jenkins and GitLab CI-CD allows you to define build pipelines that specify the steps to be executed. These pipelines typically involve tasks such as pulling code from repository, compiling source code, generating artifacts and packaging the application. Next, automate the deployment process. Now, automation of the deployment process is crucial for achieving rapid and consistent software releases. Containerization tools like Docker provide a lightweight and portable way to package application and their dependencies. Docker containers can be created and deployed consistently across different environments, ensuring consistency between development, testing and production. Define and enforce quality gates and monitor CI-CD KPIs. Quality gates ensure that the code meets predefined quality standards before it is promoted to the next stage of the CI-CD pipeline. Automated testing including unit test, integrated test and end-to-end -end test. 
Integration test and end-to-end -end test help catch bugs and validate the functionality of the managing applications. And finally, measuring KPIs of the CI-CD pipeline provide insights into its performance and help identify areas for improvement. Well, next we have monitoring and performance optimization. Now, DevOps engineers monitor system performance, identify and optimize the infrastructure and application stacks whenever necessary. They implement monitoring tools to collect and analyze metrics, logs and traces. So for that, select and configure monitoring tools. Now, monitoring tools like Prometheus or Grafana can be used to collect and visualize these metrics, allowing teams to identify bottlenecks or optimize processes and enhance the overall efficiency of the CI-CD pipeline. Also, they have to collaborate with the development and operations team to fine-tune application performance. So, continuously optimizing the infrastructure which will ensure high availability, scalability and reliability of that application. And finally, we have security and compliance. Now, DevOps engineers play a critical role in implementing security measures and ensuring compliance with industry standards and regulations. They work closely with security teams to define and implement security controls throughout the software delivery pipeline. So they have to continuously collaborate with the security teams to identify and define security requirements and controls and implement security measures such as vulnerability scanning, access management and secure configuration. They have to continuously integrate security testing and code analysis into the CI-CD pipeline and monitor for any sort of potential security risks or breaches and respond promptly to mitigate any identified vulnerabilities. So these were some of the main or top five roles and responsibilities of a DevOps engineer. I hope you understood that. And with that, we have come to the end of today's session, guys. I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.